What's good, BitRushers? It's D5Brains back with another edition of BitRush Crypto. Today we have our weekly NFT news. We have a few good things here in the news to talk about, some really great articles. So make sure you guys tap the thumbs up on today's video. Sub if you're not already. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video or what else I should be covering. Find links in the description for everything, including my social media. And let's get into that content. And just another quick reminder to follow my company, Abraxis, at Abraxis underscore DAO up here on Twitter. And you can also join our Discord, which will be linked in the description below, discord.gg forward slash Abraxis. First up on today's news, we have coffee giant Starbucks aims to enter the NFT business. It says Starbucks, an American multinational chain of coffee houses, aims to enter the non-fungible token NFT business by the end of the year. Billionaire businessman Howard Schultz, who has rejoined Starbucks as interim CEO, announces the news of an open form on Monday, claiming that they plan to do so before the end of the calendar year. Schultz claimed that they're a good position to get into NFTs and praising the company by stating that if you look at companies, the brands, the celebrities, the influencers that are trying to create a digital NFT platform and businesses, I can't find one of them that has the treasure trove of assets that Starbucks has from collectibles to the entire heritage of the company. There's not a whole lot else here that it says. It doesn't say what they're planning on doing or what kind of NFTs they're going to be, a PFP or maybe, you know, rewards program or something like that, but it just is good to see that a big brand is getting in again guys i say this pretty much every week but again you know bigger brands that tend to get into the nfts are going to bring in all the normies the people that don't know about cryptocurrency don't know about nfts they start getting a free nft with their coffee purchase at starbucks that's going to expand our market quite a bit so definitely good to see that happening Next up, we have Ledger launches an NFT-focused hardware wallet, the Nano S Plus. The new Ledger Nano S Plus is the sixth hardware wallet produced by Ledger since the firm introduced its very first wallet back in 2015. Ledger, a major supplier of hardware wallets designed a secure storage of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, is launching a brand new wallet specializing in non-fungible tokens. The project is called a Ledger Nano S+. Plus. It is the new generation to the original Nano iteration released back in 2016 and is designed with NFT collectors' needs in mind. The Nano S Plus, combined with the recent support of clear signing technology through Ledger Live, aims to provide a safe user experience for Web3 customers. While the new Ledger wallet natively supports the secure management of NFT transactions, some previous iterations of the Ledger wallet have also supported NFTs. Clear signing technology aims to provide all the details of the transaction, removing the risk of blind signing or consenting to a potentially risky transaction, the executive explained. So essentially what they're doing is they're just making it easier for you to interact with NFTs using your hardware wallet. I believe that the ledger, like the larger size ledger, the X or whatever, already had NFT capabilities, but you still had to basically sign blindly. You didn't know what exactly you were signing. So they removed that kind of obstacle or barrier because it does defeat the whole purpose of having a secure hardware wallet if you have to sign blindly. So they've added in those capabilities to cater towards the NFT marketplace. Again, this is really great to see because now you can start store your NFTs safely and still easily interact with Web3 using your hardware wallet. Really great to see this technology being pushed forward by Ledger. We have Lamborghini V12 will come with an NFT. Lamborghinis, tractors, and beyond. Few luxury car brands are more iconic than the Lamborghini brand, and it's inspiration to see how far a tractor-making company has come to become one of the most scintillating and recognizable brands of all time. Lamborghini is one brand that doesn't cut corners. A big part of the company's business has to do with attention to detail and personalization service. When Lamborghini announced plans to enter the NFT space, it was exciting and intriguing to see how the company would approach the NFT ambitions. Essentially what they're doing is they're creating the last Aventador Coupe that is fully gas. Um, from now on, moving forward, they're going to either be hybrid electric or fully electric. And so to commemorate that, um, this latest version is going to come with a one-of-a-kind NFT. And they got some big names. Uh, Krista Kim will provide the visual artwork for the NFT. And we can expect her to incorporate some of her signature design elements on the physical Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. Steve Aoki is a famous musician and he'll be entrusted with developing a custom track for the NFT. 
again guys really great to see stuff like this um you know big name collaborations and it's also just really great news that lamborghini is going to now be pushing forward with hybrids and electrics for their aventador coupe and they're no longer going to be making a strictly gas guzzler even though i'm sure it will still be some sort of like v12 i don't know how that works with electric engines um, but hopefully it's still a really great powerful car as we do like to see that from the lamborghini brand again guys just really cool here that they are making an exclusive nft to come with that last of just commemorating that special occasion so really cool news there as well next up we have the crypto trading platform eToro launches a 20 million nft fund as the nft gold rush heats up um, again, this doesn't say anything about what they're doing with it. I think they're really just going to start buying high-end NFTs almost as like an investment or whatever. Feel free to read this, but I did think that was really good news that eToro is getting in. Um, 20 million isn't a ton in the NFT space, but it's still enough to buy yourself several like larger projects, you know, a couple apes or whatever. So I think they're probably going to be doing one of one more like art collections and things like that and trying to invest as a whole, maybe making an NFT investment fund that the eToro customers can get in on. It's a little unclear on exactly what they're doing with it but they are creating that 20 million fund for the purpose of purchasing nfts and finally we have the private axe one astronauts on spacex capsule to mint an nft artwork in space um, essentially i think this is kind of like a branding marketing ploy from the axiom employee it says the axe one mission which was organized by the houston company axiom space launched on friday and arrived in orbiting lab and saturday morning april 9th the mission is flying on the spacex crew dragon endeavor so what they're going to be doing is just creating some artwork here while they're on board the spaceship and trying to launch it as an NFT from space, which is really cool news. Again, pretty much just like a marketing tactic here from Axiom, but either way, cool to see first NFT from space. If you guys want, definitely hop over here and read this full article about what they got going on. And if you got the Dolo for Sherlo, maybe you could be the lucky guy that gets the first NFT minted from space. That's pretty much it for this week's NFT news. There are a few other articles that I didn't really think were worthy of making the uh, video here, but if you guys saw some other stuff that I missed, maybe leave it in the comments below. Again, all of these articles will be linked in the description as well as my social media. Get over there and follow me at D5Brains on Twitter and at Abraxas underscore Dow. Join up the Discord if you want extra access to me. Thanks again for watching, guys. Tap that thumbs up button. Happy crypto, and let's keep getting those NFTs.